which we've adopted is with sign language, I am equal. So I encourage all of you with your different groups, organizations to uh, interact with one another if you are deaf, hearing, communicate with one another. And uh, we just wanna really emphasize the value of sign language today because with sign language, we're equal. With sign language, children information have and understanding. Uh, so that's the theme for this year. If you want more information, about different events that are going to be happening. Um, there's a lot of different tables here that have events planned uh, throughout the week. We have some information at our table over here. We have different activities for kids Team that are free. Team from is going to perform for you. Good morning, everybody, and thank you so much for coming. The Deaf Awareness Committee for organizing and putting on this event. It is so important that those of us in the hearing community understand how deaf people you know, communicate. Um, what was said about with sign language, we are, we are equal. I don't sign. I am not equal to those of you who do. So I don't, I lose out understanding what you know and what you can tell me uh, about how the city can better serve you. And that's what, what your city is here for, is to serve you. Riverside is very lucky to be one of only two cities in the state to have a school for the deaf. And as a result, we have more deaf people living in our city than, than most cities do. And it, it, um, in every way, deaf people can do what hearing people can do, except here. And I, I really want to thank Trademark Plan is one that we also recently learned uh, dance that we'll be doing for today uh, until I guess we run out of time. Um, so I think we're done by 12. So thank you so much for watching and enjoy. Go big, go big red. Things. They have construction and mechanics, and you can name it, we have it. 
If you'd like some more information, come to our open house on Tuesday, September 27th from 1.30 to 5. It's open to the public. You can ask questions, we'll answer them, and just enjoy yourself. And also you can see what the students are doing all day while they're in school. The students here at CSCR are amazing. Just to let you know, we're in sports, ASB, the Deaf Academic Bowl, all sorts of different ones. We've got a few names that we do it. We have so many different activities. Our activity director is Mike Anderson. He's right here. With a big camera. And I would like to share a story now. I came to CSDR in fourth grade in 2010, and I've been mainstream my whole life until third grade. So I got to CSDR, and I didn't sign at all. I was not in a signing environment, and I was in an oral program. After two or three months, I am where I'm at today. Especially, I'm in the student body government, I'm involved in the deaf academic school, I'm the president in 2019, all sorts of things that I love to be involved in different activities, thanks to Mike Anderson. And I grew up in a mainstream program and I was very isolated, all my classmates were hearing, and I thought I would be alone for the rest of my life, and I thought, my parents said, why don't CSDR and I thought I would and now I'm ready for the future. I'm ready for the future thanks to CSDR. And I forgot to add with the superintendent we have a program called Early Childhood Education and that's the Parents of Infant program. They have birth to pre-K which covers 18 or 20 months, 18 to 20 months up until they graduate from high school. So it's amazing how many students that we get every year during the year. And we actually got 56 new students. We normally get about four or five, but this year we've gotten 56. So I hope it continues to expand. With our new superintendent, we're able to pull in more people. And the next five years, I'm sure we're going to grow, guaranteed. If you have any questions about the open house, you can go to CDERC. And there's some flyers about the open house and if you have any questions please feel free to ask us and we will be sure to answer your questions and thank you for watching also our gold sponsor IEHP and our silver sponsors uh, thank you to Life Signs and Rise who have donated their services to us for today
and this family that came out to ride for the first time with us. And that's truly the, the crux, the foundation of this Model Deaf Week, is coming together and sharing our cultures and enjoying each other. So every year, this event serves as the kickoff for activities taking place all around the city where hearing people can learn more about deaf culture. If you didn't know Riverside as home to one of just two schools for the deaf in the entire state of California. So who is here from California State uh, School of the Deaf, Riverside? Who's here? Applause for CSDR today coming down. Thank you. And Riverside is among only a handful of cities nationwide that has a citywide committee focused specifically on raising awareness of deaf culture. So I want to recognize and say thank you to our model deaf committee members wearing blue shirts. Where is the model deaf? Raise your hands. If you come up on stage with me, model deaf committee members with your blue shirts, I want to recognize and thank you and give applause to our hard working committee that puts this and other activities on all across the city. We celebrate diversity. In fact, diversity is one of our four core values. We recognize that our diversity is among the many things that makes Riverside great. So I'd like to acknowledge the contribution and the richness of the deaf community that adds to our culture and Riverside. Here's my message to the hearing community. Who can hear me out there? Let me hear you. To the hearing community, I challenge you to find ways to break down barriers between the hearing and the deaf. Look for ways in which you and your business can be more deaf friendly. We're going to recognize one of those businesses today that's done an incredible job of embracing the deaf community and culture and hiring more than 22 deaf individuals here at Riverside. To the deaf community, my challenge to you is to get more involved. Make sure your city leaders, like me, are aware of obstacles that you face on a daily basis. Attend a model deaf committee meeting, and if you want to know when those meetings occur, you see the individuals that come at least each month and plan events like this and find out ways how we can, we can bridge the gap and be more like a family in Riverside. So, with that, I'm going to turn this microphone back over to Ian Barraza, the chair of the Riverside Model, Model Deaf Community Committee. He's going to announce the Riverside Deaf Friendly Awards for individuals and organizations who have made it part of an everyday practice in welcoming the deaf community here in Riverside. God bless you all, and God bless Riverside. So every year we like to recognize different businesses, organizations, and individuals who have contributed in some way to make Riverside a more death friendly place to live. Um, whether it's through hiring or interacting with customers, um, you know, every year we like to recognize at least a couple different groups or individuals like I mentioned. So um, if we did reach out to you, uh, if you could come over to the stage so we could recognize you at this point. Um, I'm not sure, I haven't heard uh, from the Riverside Plaza businesses, but there's many businesses at Riverside Plaza that we wanted to recognize for being deck friendly. Um, did you want to add to that? And, and also, is there somebody from Starbucks a representative here? Okay. Well, let's go ahead and start with you. I want to um, recognize the Starbucks on Arlington near the School for the Deaf. Um, it was brought to our attention that they've done quite a few things to make Riverside more uh, deaf friendly. Uh, so, that's your favorite Starbucks? Do you want to explain why we're recognizing them? 
This is Lisa, please welcome. She's shy, but I'm going to force her to talk. Hello, hello. Good afternoon. Thank you for coming. And Starbucks, the reason why I like them is I pull up and I can find and I get my, my drink and it's very nice and friendly and really. In Riverside, the Riverside community, we can't ask for a more friendly community. You may live in different cities and I'll say, oh, they're deaf, what do I do? How do I communicate with them? But here, we communicate just fine. So Starbucks has made it happen. Not only that, Riverside Community, Riverside Plaza, all over Riverside. You've made this happen. You are included. Thank you for coming and supporting us. Thank you. And Ian, where are you? There you go. City of Riverside in honor of the International Week of the Deaf, which was set up in 1958 by the World Federation of, of the Deaf. The Model Deaf Community Committee here in the City of Riverside was set up in 1999. We meet once a month in City Hall to discuss issues that concern the deaf community, different ways that we can get the city and different organizations and businesses to work together to make Riverside a more deaf-friendly place to live. There's a theme for deaf- 